afternoon folks and welcome to Son of Dell's live vlog on this Saturday the 31st of July. Uh, a lot's been happening since I last did a vlog nearly two months ago. I can't believe how quick that's gone. Anyway, I've got an absolute packed vlog because a lot's happened in the last uh, eight, eight weeks or so. I have aged. I am now 49. I've got a birthday haul which you'll see later. I've got the unboxing of the Z box for July which is a bit late but um, it's the first time I've really felt up to doing it. I've also got, um, what else have I got? Oh, I've got a jigsaw haul from the works. I've got a uh, haul from Zavi as well of some of the stuff which I had for my birthday which my wife bought me. And I've got a very, very special item which I'll be saving till last. I've also got some pin badges to show you. And I've had a couple more coins in my collection and there's all sorts of bits and bobs in there. I might even have a bit of a chat about some of it. Uh, obviously I know since I last spoke to you England were runners up in the Euros which were very very unlucky I thought that was brilliant but anyway coming up we have the unboxing for the July Z box for 2021 <laughs> Now before I do the unboxing I just want to tell you first um, this box was due on a certain date and I didn't know it had been delivered I didn't have anything pushed through the door no correspondence or nothing anyway I uh, just said to Deb I was sitting in the living room and I said to Deb I said I wonder if my Z box has come yet I wonder if they've left it down the side of the house again now the night before it had been absolutely plastering it down with rain here and it was really bad in the night and I went down the house only to find out that they must have delivered it the day before because the parcel was absolutely drenched and I'm talking soaked like you would not believe it was a right mess now luckily everything in the box is fine because the t-shirt was jammed between two items I got in touch with customer service and told them about the um, shocking state that the box arrived in and all they did was apologize and said they, they try and make sure it doesn't happen again which isn't very nice really because this is about the second or third time now I've had it actually left down the side of the house now I don't mind it being left down the side of the house as long as I'm notified but I didn't have any email I didn't have any shoved through the door to say a parcel had attempted delivery uh, it was just a bit of guesswork on my part otherwise it would have been still there I don't know uh, like I said it was a mess the box was literally battered I'll show you a picture of that in a minute if I've still got it if I haven't straight on to the unboxing now the first item in the box was a transformer figure a mini transformer figure I've got a mate who's a massive transformer fan, uh, Mr. Maddock um, and the one I've got, this is actually, uh, it says collect them all. You've got Megatron, Starscream and Soundwave. And I've got, I'm just showing you, take them out of the packet. I have got the dude himself. As you can see, Megatron. Rather cool little figure actually. Comes with his own little stand. I'll see if I can stand him on there. I'm not very good at doing these usually. Good try and get his feet level <laughs> I told you I'm a nightmare with stuff like this I really am come on Jace that's it there you go Bloody hell. my nerves are shocking there you go there he is cool little Megatron and that was the first item in the box now I like these because they come really really well packaged and I'll show you what I mean by that if you have got the figure and you think of the two pieces of card like that, it fits in. Let me get this out. I better, I better get this wrong now. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. I've got an habit to doing this. But I'll, I'm not going to do that because I'll embarrass myself. So that's the first item in the box and it is a Megatron minifigure. I paused it there so I wouldn't make myself look a wally because it took me about five minutes to get it back in. Now the second item, if you're a big fan of Call of Duty, I thought these were pretty smart actually, is a set of keychains. Call of Duty keychains, and as you can see, you've got Ruin, Battery, Recon, Battery, and another Ruin. So, a nice set of five keychains, limited edition, and Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, I'm not a massive Call of Duty fan, I don't really do them sort of games, I don't like anything based on real war or stuff like that. So, But there you go, Call of Duty Black Ops mini keychains. That was the second item. Third item, now I'm always wanting journals because I'm always writing stuff down and today, I've actually, uh, sorry this month I was actually lucky because I got a bonus, there was two, 
The first one, Deb's already said she wants it anyway. And it is an X-Files I Want to Believe journal. And it actually says that it's got 232 line pages, themed imprints on each page, ribbon bookmark and character artwork on the inside covers. So there it is, I Want to Believe, and it's an X-Files book. The fourth item is a very, very similar item, only this one is a NASA Celestial Journal. And again, 232 line pages, ribbon bookmark, full colour artwork on the inside covers. And there it is, and that one will be my little beauty, what I'll be writing in. So there'll be poetry going in there, my thoughts for the day, all sorts of stuff really. Believe it or not, there's still another three items. It was a cracking box this month. Uh, I'll let Marmate figure this one out because it's another one of these um, ships. Uh, hold on a minute, I've just got lifted up because it's come out the box. It's another one of these ships, these uh, Star Trek ships. And I don't know whether he'll be able to identify that one. He might be able to. It's my mate Steve from down south. I don't know what it is, to be honest with you. I haven't got a clue. But there's another Star Trek ship. I think I must have about eight or nine of these now. I really must. I'll try and put the thing back in. It's not easy. Leave that off. Now, the next item. The T-shirt. The T-shirt. Now, anybody who's a retro fan will like this. I think Ian Maddock might like this. It is actually Dr. Eggman from uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. There's the tag. Look, Sonic the Hedgehog. Dr. Eggman. And that's another limited edition t-shirt. Because um, they are limited, by the way. If you get the box, you normally get t-shirts that are not available anywhere else. So it's worth the money because you get, you know, a unique t-shirt. Now, the last item came, and I couldn't believe this, to be honest with you. In, in a normal box, this was incredible. This is uh, Alien and Predator figurine collection. And what it is, is it's actually Dallas out of Alien. Now, you look at the size of the box, right? I'm going to pause it now and then I'm going to show you the figure outside the box. Now you saw that giant box, didn't you? That gigantic box. Well, this is the figure that's in it. The detail on it is absolutely incredible. My friend Sarah from down south will like this because she's a massive, massive aliens and alien predator fan. And as you can see, the detail on the back of that, you know, it's really a hell of a figure. And there it says on the bottom, look, alien. And it says it is... Dallas, yeah, I said it was Dallas, didn't I? Yeah, it's Dallas. And that was the last item in the box. So if you think about it, I've got a Dallas figure, a Star Trek ship, I've got a T-shirt, Dr. Eggman from Sonic, I've got two journals, NASA and X-Files, I've got a set of uh, Call of Duty 5 limited edition keychains, and I also got a miniature Transformers figure. Not a bad box, is it, that? And that is my unboxing of the Z box for July 2021. So, quite an impressive box, don't you think? Um, yeah, that wasn't bad. I was quite happy with that. That was the July 2021 Z box. And I also went on to the works and they were having a little bit of a sale on, on the jigsaws. Now, I bought three. Now, the first one's an unusual one for me because I don't usually go for stuff like this. But I like the fact that it's uh, quite retro if you look at it. It's all UK postcards from the seaside. And as you can see, they're actually, if I can hold it properly, you can actually see they're vintage pictures. They're not sort of modern. Uh, so I've got, a, I've got a quite a liking for that. I'll enjoy doing that one. That'll be a nice one. As you can see, it was only seven, it was only seven pound. Now, as anybody knows, massive Wasgidge fan. And he had two good Wasgidges for sale. And the first one, uh, looks really cool and it's a Wasgidge Destiny and it's called the Toy Shop. Now as you can see you've got a toy shop there. For some reason you've got Tommy Cooper in the middle I think, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you've got the toy shop there but it's a Destiny puzzle. It's a Destiny puzzle as it says. And what you have to do, you don't puzzle what you see, you use your imagination and work out what the future is going to look like for the toy shop. So you can imagine it being full of Xboxes and all that sort of stuff I would have thought and Playstations and hoverboards and I don't know. But that's the first one, the toy shop. Second one, another Destiny one actually, and this one's called the Puzzler's Arms. As you can see, you've got a pub there from, looks like the 80s. I'll keep trying to move it about as much as I can, the 80s. 
and you've got to pause all the future so basically it's probably going to be I would have thought what the, the pub looks like nowadays or in the future I don't know because obviously you've got teddy boys there and all sorts of stuff you know with the all different things so I've got a feeling it's going to be a modern pub uh, but they were my three three jigsaws from the works Now, while we're still on the Only Fools and Horses stuff, I managed to pick up another two t-shirts from Amazon. They were $14.99 each, and as you can see, the first one, celebrating since 1981. So that was 40 years of Only Fools and Horses, and I had to get the t-shirt, really. Um, that was 40 years of Only Fools and Horses. 
and it's still keeping me laughing now. And this one's one that uh, I, I just fell in love with as soon as I saw it. Everybody who knows Only Fools and Horses knows there's a, a song at the end of it that goes, we've got some half price cracked ice, miles and miles of carpet tiles. Well, I have actually got the words to the end credits. To the end credits. As you can see, what's the names and at a push. Some Trevor Francis track suits from a mush in Shepherd's Bush. Oh, let me just straighten it out because it's got a bit curled up. My fault for folding it. <laughs> track suits from a mush in Shepherd's Bush. Bush, 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 bush. And it's got all the lyrics to it. And I got that one off Amazon as well. And that was 15. So, uh, yeah, all in all, it's been a very, 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 very busy, profitable month. Um, I've been all, doing all sorts of stuff to be honest with you but a lot of the time with it being lovely weather I've been sitting outside because it's just been too nice I've had things to do but it's been that warm and you have to make the most of summer and I suppose that's what I'm going to talk about now really we've all got different things that we, we like doing and making the most of excuse me a minute and we've all got hobbies and interests and what I can't stand is people who say that you've got too much of something or that you've got too many of something when it's nothing to do with them. When somebody says like, if somebody said I've got too many jigsaws, well that's got nothing to do with anybody else other than me. As long as it doesn't cause any trouble between me and my wife, then why should it matter to anybody else? And it's the same with all sorts of stuff. I mean, my other sister, she does Lego. And I dare bet there's somebody somewhere who says, why do you keep buying Lego? Why do you keep buying Lego? Well, because she wants to and because she enjoys doing it. No hobbies. I mean, what, what are the hobbies? You know, I mean, at the end of the day, we haven't got the physical attributes to have hobbies like jogging, running, uh, skydiving and all this sort of stuff. You know, anything involving physical. We don't go to the gyms or nothing like that because of the medical problems we've got. So we find hobbies that suit our abilities. Mine is jigsaws and a bit of gaming and, and writing. My sister's is Lego, so as far as I'm concerned, you know, she could spend two bloody hundred thousand pounds on Lego if she so desired, it's got nothing to do with anybody. And I don't like people who basically interfere with things like that and say that you shouldn't be spending this on this or this on this. Don't get me wrong, if it's somebody who's um, like not paying their bills because they're doing it, you know, they're not paying the gas, electricity, water, falling behind in debt up to their eyeballs, then fair enough. I can understand it, but I can't stand people who think they can take over other people's lives because they don't they're not going how they want them to I'm sorry but you haven't got to live that person's life nobody's got to live my life for me so nobody tells me what to do I know what I can do and I know what I want to do and if I want to do something like sit outside on my decking for hours on end because it's a lovely day I will do if I want to sit in here and do jigsaws until I can't feel my fingers properly then I'll do that as well you know and the worst about worst of it to be honest with you is parents parents who try and lead their children's lives for them they don't like what the children are doing so all of a sudden it's like right you will do this you will do this i'm not happy with you doing this i'm not happy with you doing that and at the end of the day you've got to remember that yes they're your parents but they haven't got to live your lives you might still be on this planet 20 30 years after they've left it and if you live your life to please your parents and not yourself then when your parents are gone you're going to be left with nothing you're going to have nothing for yourself whatsoever if you're happy with your standard of living, if you're happy with the way you live and you're not causing any problems to anybody or any health issues, then do what you want. Do what you want, within the law, obviously. But yeah, it was just uh, annoying me. I see stuff on the internet all the time about it and it just, uh, it just gnawed me a bit. You know, people want different standards for the kids to, and it's not up to them. I mean, when my wife, Deb, got, and me got together, my wife was um, very well educated you know she'd got the degree etc etc and, and you know she could have gone on to bigger and better things I know that anyway but she chose to be with me I didn't force her to be with me I, she chose to be with me and you know it, it means more to me than any any time every single day I think about that I think about what she gave up to be with me you know it's the ultimate sacrifice because she could have gone on to bigger and better things she could have gone on to a lot bigger and better things but she's with me and, and she chose to be with me and I'm really really happy about that you know as long as you're happy and the person you're with is happy and they don't, they're not holding a grudge against you or anything about you whether it's your job or whatever you know then it's nothing to do with anybody else just yourself and yourselves should I say 
Now, another good thing about being out in the, on the deck in a lot of the time is I've been spending a lot of time talking to uh, my neighbours next door, Tony and Shell. They've, um, I think we've kept each other sane. Uh, I've made them all laugh with jokes and, and silly th stories about things that have happened in my life. And, you know, it's been really, really good. And as you get to the age of 40-odd and 50 coming up, you realise that you don't make as many friends as when you were younger, but they're more important friends because you seem to get more loyalty. I don't know why. I think when you're young, it's so easy for people to stab you in the back and talk about you behind your back, etc., etc. Now, I'm not saying when you get older that doesn't happen, because it does, but it happens less. It happens less frequently, you know. You can sort of... If you get on with somebody really, really well, you can tell whether they're two-faced or not. I'm sorry, but you can. Because you'll hear about things that they've said about you or done about you or whatever. And to be honest with you, if somebody had got a gripe against me and came up and told me they got a gripe against me, then I'd think a lot more of them than finding out by a third party. Because the worst thing in the world is thinking that somebody is really, really, really nice and pleasant to you and then finding out that they've been talking about you and slagging you off behind your back because it just think, you make you think, why? Why bother? I mean, if I've got a gripe with my neighbour, I'll tell him, I'll say, look, Tom, you know, I'm not happy about this, mate. I'll, I'll bring it up with you now and we can clear the air. I won't talk about him behind his back. I won't say nasty things about him. You know, I, I, don't, I don't see the point in doing that. I don't, I don't think it gets you anywhere. It just makes you look a wally when it all comes out, you know. Be forthright. Tell the truth. If people don't like the truth, but at least you, you can actually say, you can hold your hand up and say, look, I've been honest. And sometimes, I won't say always, but honesty is the best policy. Not around birthdays and Christmas, obviously, but, you know, and anniversaries, Valentine's Day mainly. But it is the best policy, and I do believe that. I hope you're all well. I hope you... I don't know, I'm not going to say getting back to normal, because there's no such thing as normal now. It's a new normal, and we, for one, uh, both of our families, me and next-door neighbours, um, aren't uh, relaxing the laws. We're not going around hugging people left, right and centre. We're not walking around without masks on. We're not gathering in groups of 20 and 30 like they say you can or nothing like that. We're basically staying safe. I mean, I won't be going for a me meal in a restaurant now till probably about May, June next year because I won't feel safe, to be honest with you. I'll just keep thinking, you know, the dangers are there. And this other variant that's spreading around seems to be even more worse, you know, this Delta variant. It's all right for people to say, oh, yeah, well, I've had both vaccines. Yeah, I've heard about people who've had both vaccines and they still ended up with catching COVID. They've still passed it on and people have still died. So, you know, unless you can give me solid proof that nothing's going to happen, which you can't, then there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do at all to, prove, to, to uh, convince me. I mean, it's not like me and me wife disagree about this. We completely agree we're on the same page. You know, we basically say, look, at the end of the day, we've been safe in the house for the last 15 months. What's the difference with staying for another few months? We do a shopping online. I get to sit on my decking, so I get lots of uh, fresh air and lots of peace out there because obviously it looks out over to, onto a cemetery. Now, um, like I say, it's, it's just one of those things where I will do things once I'm ready to do them. But until then, not a chance, not a chance. I just don't. No, it's not happening. It just is not happening. Anyway, that's me. I had a rant. Coming up, well, all sorts of stuff, but enjoy it anyway. Hey up folks, here's the beer 52 box for July 2021. You're seeing it as I see it. Brand new box opening it now. First of all, I've got a okay, I've got a pack of onion barges. I think they're called Howdar. It says give back as your snack. One pack equals one free school lunch. Oh, a free school lunch goes to children for having that. So there's one. Second thing. Smokehouse barbecue corn combo crunch. That's them. And now we come to the beers. Let's see what we've got. The first one is the Garden Brewery Coconut and Tonka Bean Milk Stout. 
a very unusual one with vanilla and cocoa on a nice malt stout base that's the first one second one this one is called oh it's a bit like what i've got magnetic attraction don't laugh that and it's a wheat malt an oat malt basically a new pale ale from the motive beer company now a lot of these which i can't believe are bottles third bottle is called Verionica and it is a neon stout it is a neon stout and it's from the Verionica craft brewery I like the little design on the front it's pretty cool isn't it Put that there. this one yeah I was going to try and pronounce that but I'm not going to do it it's a stout Deb's laughing because she's just seen it. I can't pronounce it. It looks like Zamajske Pivovare, which is easy for me to say. And it is a, it's a craft one again. It's another stout one, that one is. That's the first one I've had that I haven't been able to pronounce, actually. This one is another Varionica craft brewery one, and this one's called Passion Sour. So I don't really think that's my source because I don't usually do sour drinks. And it's filtered and unpasteurized beer. It looks a very strange colour, I must admit. Another bottle. This one is another one from that brewery, and this one's called Summer Mist. The following one I can't pronounce. It's a maschia fnivmivnivmi, that thing. And it's an IPA. Another one from the same brewery. I've got quite a few from this brewery, and this one's a pale ale. I like that they've got a few from the same brewery actually. Another one from them as well. And this one is, oh no, sorry, this is from the Medvedrad brewery and it's called the Golden Bear. I like the design of that one. It's very, um, I think this is the kind of thing Deb would like actually, the design all the way around the outside of it. Very artistic, that one. What else have we got? Oh, some more cans. Next can. Mechanics of Illusion, the modern West Coast IPA. An Indian Pale Ale from the Moti Brewery. The Gordon Brewery. This one has got tropical with notes of pineapple. Looks like a good one, that. I think this is the last one, I'm not sure. Oh! Oh no, it's a different one. I thought it was the same actually. That one's a hazy pale ale, the first one I showed you. This one is a New England IPA, but it's from the same brewery, so I thought I got the same one twice. But I haven't. And I think, I think... Oh no, no, there's some more. The two. Oh no, another one. This one is a Quebec IPA. Hazy, tropical and sessionable with mango and lychee. It's a very, very unusual one. Nice big can as well. So that's the full range of the beers. And in it I've also got my Ferment magazine, which is literally chock-a-block full of interesting stuff all about the beers, uh, where they come from, how they're made, etc, etc. Croatia this month, I'll look at it. Yeah, or Croatian, yeah. All, all good, as you can see, Croatia. But it's all good information, and that lot there, all together, for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 beers, magazine, and two lots of snacks, is 29.95, I think. So that is my July box for Beer 52. <laughs>as i said before i have aged i am now 49 i know i don't look a day over 48 but that's me good looks what can i say uh no i'm only joking um yeah i'm 49 now and the day was brilliant 
Um, I'll, when I've done this uh, little haul of the stuff that I had for my birthday, I'll also put some pictures up so you can just have a see what kind of relaxing and casual day we had. It was a beautiful day, the uh, sun was shining all day, I was sitting outside listening to music which the, um, my two best friends next door, uh, um, Tony and Shell, actually played my playlist that they knew of music I would like, so I had Jar, Pet Shop Boys, a bit of Beautiful South, there was all sorts in there, it was a fantastic day. My wife cooked a lovely meal, uh, we had homemade southern fried chicken which was absolutely gorgeous and um, we all shared that together which was great. Now when I say shared, I mean over the fence shared, I don't mean shared as in we were in each other's houses because we weren't. Um, but yeah, it was a beautiful day, everything went how I uh, wanted it to. The big thing for me was obviously it's my first birthday without my mum because my mum passed away last August and of course with my birthday being in July I'd only just had it when she passed away so it was a bit hard but it was all made brilliant by people you know and I had some wonderful presents which I'm going to show you now and we'll start with Only Fools and Horses Rodney now I'll see if you can hear this I'm not sure if you'll be able to <laughs> talking, uh, 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 talking, Rodney. There you go. That was my first birthday present, and it was followed up by a talking Del boy. And again, I'll. This time next year, we'll be millionaires. As you see, quite sturdy base. Really cool one. Now because I'd seen them two, I also saw that there was a trigger available. Now it's not the same sort of thing, but it's still official merchandise. And he says, all right Dave, all right Del, Dave, look after your broom. And of course that's what he's famous for saying, look after your broom. Now I decided because of those three, um, I had some Amazon vouchers as well, and I went and bought this. This goes with it, believe it or not. And this is the official Trotter van, right? But the good thing about it is, when I can get it, it's not easy to find. Hang on. It plays the theme tune. And as you can see, it's a Trotter van, complete with wheels. And I bought that for my birthday vouchers. I just thought it was well cool. Even got the roof rack look. Take plays. Nice one. All right. Oh, lots more to come. Now the first thing I did have was when my sister came down the night before my birthday on the Saturday, she told me that she got something off the kids for me, uh, the little lads, bless them. And they'd seen this and said it would be perfect for me because they knew I loved Taz. And they gave, they, they've sent me this down. And I think he's ace because I love Taz anyway. Taz is fab. And what makes it better is it's actually a football kit. He's got a football sticker badge on him. Uh, but it's, a, it's just a little thing, but I think it's ace, and it's a, a little Taz thing, and it can sit on my desk. So, that's another prezi. My sister, Mandy, uh, she bought me a couple of things, and she bought me a brilliant DVD. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. It's called Filthy Rich and Cat Flap. Now, anybody who's ever seen The Young Ones, which I did a... Ref uh, what's it for not long ago. Uh, this is basically, it's not a follow on exactly, but it's nice to have three other people in it. You know, you've got Nigel playing it, you've got Rick Mayall, you've got Aid Edmondson. Uh, it's a totally different series. It's only ran for one series, I think. Yeah, it did. Um, but it, it's hilarious. It's a funny comedy and it goes with the collection. But she also bought me this as well. Uh, as I'm a Liverpool fan, it's Liverpool Cult Heroes and it's basically got 20 players uh, and it's basically talking about them, what they did, what, how they succeeded, uh, where they, you know, different things that they recounted about living, uh, about uh, playing football for Liverpool and things that happened to them while they were there. So that's a, a nice good read that I'm looking forward to. Now, um, again, Only Fools and Horses seems to follow me everywhere. This was bought for me by my next door neighbour, Tony and Shell. Um, it's the top trump set of Only Fools and Horses and basically it's really really good because it's got all the characters and the situations it's also got the things that Dell tries to sell so you've got Latvian alarm clocks in there and all sorts and it's a really good set and I'll be playing that at some point they also decided to buy me a jigsaw at the same time uh, they didn't realise actually when they bought it me it's a hay jigsaw now I don't know if they've ever seen these triangle boxes 
very unusual for jigsaws to go in a triangle box but this one if you can see the picture and as you notice if you look really really closely you can see loads of little yellow balls all over the place it's actually cheese it's cheese like a cheese rolling thing they've all done rolling of cheese and it's gone mental and you can see different things happening in the picture uh, and it's actually called say cheese and, the, and it's a 1500 piece which I'm looking forward to doing so that's another one this was fantastic this was off my wife because she knows again I love jigsaws people keep buying me jigsaws and it's Monopoly but it's actually the Lakes edition so rather than having Mayfair and stuff like that you've got Hilltop and hang on I've got to look over the top Royal Mount Rydell Mountain Gardens Raven's Glass Roman Bathhouse and stuff like that you know it's a beautiful and it's a jigsaw it's actually a thousand piece jigsaw that ends up being that so that's another jigsaw and surprise surprise another jigsaw again uh, was Gidge Destiny this was off my sister Paula and um, time travel it's a retro one so once again you've got to puzzle what the future is going to be because obviously that's an old picture of flying years and years ago so now we're probably going to have jumbo jets and all sorts of stuff on it and my wife bought me a load of stuff which I'm going to show you in a minute for, for um, Zavi it was only fools and horses range of clothing and merchandise and because I ordered two items I got this for free and it's the only fools and horses trading the board game and as you can see on the back it looks fun to play I'm gonna really really enjoy playing that right now we start with the Liverpool merchandise now a lot of its clothing and I'll show it you little bit of, I will when I open it up clothing first one's a t-shirt with Rodney on it cosmic nice color green and all it's unusual for a nice dark green t-shirt like that. that's one now this second item I'll pull back a bit so I can show you this because this is going to keep me warm over winter and I'll just show you as you can see it's a fleece blanket and as I lift it up this time next year will be millionaires and it's a lovely fleece blanket trust me it is a lovely fleece blanket these were all bought for me by my wife because uh, she didn't know what buy for me she saw that this range had come on savvy and she just said go on and buy yourself some stuff so I went on and I bought myself some stuff that's there next item oh, hang on. oh. And get to the bottom of this one. Another right, a t-shirt, another t-shirt. I like this one because it's unusual colouring. Again, this time next year we'll be millionaires. And there you've got Grandad, Dell, and Rodney. Another lovely t-shirt. I've just got through a load of t-shirts by the way, I ended up counting them. I had 151 before I sorted them out. Next one, Woody. Ready for the autumn and winter? Leave it out, you plonker. Again, official. Only fools and horses merchandise. Yep, I can find the target. If you've got this on them, they're official. See? So that's a hoodie. Fold that up, put it there. Another hoodie. I love this one. This one's one of my favourites. This one is. This one is. It's got Rodney on it and it says terrific again only fools and horses again official merchandise nice and large nice and comfortable as well right, good image of Rodney on the front I don't know if I'm more like Rodney or Dell I don't know and the last item was a cushion and I couldn't resist it I couldn't resist it when I saw it and it's got Uncle Albert on it and it says Shut up, you saucy old get. Which is very appropriate, seems I'm now 49. Shut up, you saucy old get. Now, there's also a pair of lounge pants which I had off my friend next door's mum, Janet, which I will show you pictures of, and the pictures are coming up now of everything that I had. Well, every piece of clothing I had. <laughs> Stick a pony in me pocket I'll the suitcase from the van Like the 
Got some half price crack ties, some miles and miles of carpet tiles, TVs, deep freeze, and David Bowie LPs, pool games, gold chains, wuss names, and head of push, and Trevor Francis track suits from a mush and shepherd's bush, 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 bush. No income tax, no V8, no money back, and no guarantee. Black or white, rich or poor, we'll cut prices at a straw. Now to finish my vlog today the last word is going to be left to Del Boy and the reason I'm saying that is last year like I've said before my mum passed away and um, I decided I was going to buy something out of the money she left me and I'd seen a Stife Bear advertised of Del Boy. Now I didn't I wasn't going to have it at first but my wife said to me look at the end of the day you know my mum would have bought it you. Uh, you know I was in my mum would have bought it me and um, I thought yeah okay fair enough anyway I pre-ordered it last year in September October well it was October actually and I was told it'd be here in June anyway it didn't arrive it didn't arrive now the other day it, just before my birthday about six seven days before my birthday I was having a really bad day I didn't feel very good I felt really low and down and depressed and there was a knock on the door completely out of the blue and it arrived and I'll show it you now um, it comes obviously in the official Stife box as you can see proper Stife bear the bear itself is absolutely stunning, it really is. Now it comes well packaged, just take it out, it comes well packaged and I'll show you, oh sorry, I just dropped his D, oh excuse me. Now as you can see, there's the boy in his coat, but what I love about it, and I'll show you this because I think it's absolutely hilarious. You've even got his cap. You've even got Del Boy's cap, look. Del Boy's cap. Fit on his head like that. I've got it back to front. You know, I would have. It's just me. Ignore me. Now, the way you can tell it's a genuine Stife is you look in the ear. And it's got the Stife Bear stud, as you can see. Um, it's an official Stife product, and if it doesn't got the stud in the ear, then it isn't an official Stife. <coughs> anyway, uh, yes, you've got the hat, which goes on top, and you've also got I can get the fit thing right. They've even added a little tiny necklace and it's the D that he wears, you know, the D on the chain. And uh, I'm going to show you the bear now in more detail. I'll just put the hat down. There he is. It's a genuine Stife bear. It's Del Boy. There's your official card on the back there. It's a limited edition. Obviously, Del Boy's red coat, and if you just imagine the necklace down there with the D on the end, <laughs> you've got Del Boy. Uh, there he is in his coat, his uh, traditional coat that he wears. And I bought that uh, off my mum, basically, uh, just out of the money my mum left me. And it's going to be uh, something I'll pass down to people. You know. Now, the funny thing was, when I got this I didn't realise that on the side of the box there was obviously the invoice and stuff which I'd already paid anyway but inside it they've now announced that they're going to bring out a Rodney Bear to go with it and I've pre-ordered that now that doesn't come out till 2022 so when I get that I'll have the set of Dell and Rodney so yeah this is something I bought like I say off my mum uh, as you can see there it's uh, I can't see, I'll see if I can get the D out actually, just hold on one second, I'll just stand the bear up. Stay there a minute, stay there, stay there. Hold on one second, I'll see if I can get it for you. Yeah, I can, I can, I can. There's his little necklace. As 
you can see, he's D, and there it is, his little necklace that goes round his neck. Lovely thickness and all, nice thick necklace, and that'll go round his neck, and then the cap goes on his head, and there you have Derek Trotter. And that is my uh, end of my vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it, there's been a lot there, and uh, I'll do another vlog soon, and it won't be two months. <laughs> Bye for now.